Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. In the last one, we installed the clips and then we made sure everything worked and it did. So now we're going to talk about what this public static void main is and what a method is in general. When you run your code in Java, Java needs to know where am I going to start look for the first line of code that you want me to run. That's where our main method comes in, which is this one. The public static void main. The code you put inside here is the first that's going to get run. So we only have one line of code and it's a simple one. Just print out this text or this string as it's called into our console. So it did that and then it's done. But what is a method? You said main method. What is a method? Methods in Java are basically sections in a class that is where all the code is being run. You can have how many methods as you want. Each method does something specific or everything in one if you want. But methods are where all the coding is taking place, pretty much. There's some, some exceptions, but we're going to start easy and just assume that all the code is done inside methods. So here we have a method, which is the main method. And the main method needs to be exactly like this. It cannot be called something else. This is the name, by the way. The main method is called main. Makes it easier to know what it is. It cannot be called main method. We cannot call it main with two n's. We cannot call it main with a capital M. For example, if we try to run it now, we're going to get an error. Error, main method was not found in first lesson, blah, blah, blah. But if we name it main method, try it again. Error, it needs to be called main because that's exactly what Java is looking for. That very name. And we cannot remove this. Then we're going to get an error too. And we're going to get into what string args means later. But just now, main method is where all the code starts. It needs to be exactly like this. And whatever's inside here can, of course, differ. If you don't want a printout, maybe you want to do some addition, multiplication. You want to build Minecraft, whatever. You always start in the main method. So let's add another method here public static void and uh, we can call it method one it looks very similar from the main method we want to call this method called method one we can name it whatever you want uh, pippi long strump i think strump if we want that too doesn't matter it's your code your method but but a good rule when it comes to naming method is that a method should be named something that describes what the code inside that method is doing. But right now we're just going to call it method one. Let's add some similar code. Let's just copy this and add the same in here. But we're going to call it, say something. Uh, this is inside method one. And just make sure that you have these quotation marks, otherwise it's going to look weird. It needs to be between two quotation marks, and that is what's going to be printed out in the console. So if I run this now, we should have this printout as well, right? Nope, it didn't work. Why? Coding is like following a path. You start in the main method, this one right here, and then the Java saw this line of code, executed that, and then there was nothing else. And then there was this end of this method. That's all the code Java saw that it needed to do. But we want to do the code inside this method. And the way we do it is by calling the method. It's called methods in Java, and I think it's called function in functions in other languages such as JavaScript and Python and what have you. I think it's called that. But in Java, they are called methods. And by calling a method, we type out the method's name, method one, two parentheses, and then ending it with a semicolon. 
if we didn't have this, Java does not know what we're trying to do. So we need the parentheses to be added because we have them here. And Java is case sensitive, meaning we need to spell it exactly the same. Method one with a lowercase does not work. It needs to have method one. We cannot change anything. It needs to be exactly the same as the method. We call methods and then we do the code inside those methods. So if we run it now, welcome to a new tutorial. This is inside method one. And of course we could have more methods. I'm gonna be lazy and add two more. Method one, method two, and what we're gonna call method three for it being simple. And in method two, another one, yet another one. So let's see if we can call these two new methods as well. So we have method one we call there, we call method two from in here, and we can call method three here as well. But you can call methods from other methods without any problems. So we call method one from the main method, we call method two as well, but let's call method three from the end of method two. So method three. And if I run it now, we have, oh, I need to increase it a little bit. Welcome to the new tutorial. This is the first line, then it goes to the second. It looks for method one, goes to method one, runs the code inside method one. Then this was done, then it goes back to where it last were and see if there's anything left. And there is, there's method two, goes into this section here, runs first this line of code and it looks, oh, is there anything more in here? Yes, there is. And it's method three and it does that code inside it. And we can see that result right here. And we could of course have more methods, but this is how you call methods in Java. So yeah, this is a good stopping point. We went over what the main method is. That is where all the coding starts or the execution of the code starts. And methods are blocks of code and you run those blocks of code by calling the name of said method. So if you want to run the code in method one, we call method one. If we want to run the code in method three, we call the name method three. It's not very difficult. We'll get into what public, what static and what void is and that later. But for now, we know what the main method is and why it's so important and also how we call other methods. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one as well. Until then, take care now. Bye.